This is Dawn Compton, the pastor of Main Street United you know, Methodist Church, and I'm here today to bring you our weekly Wednesday Word. This Sunday, we are starting a new worship series entitled Heroes. We're going to be looking at a few people from Scripture who demonstrate some heroic characteristics, but maybe not people that we always think about when we think about a hero of the faith. And as I was thinking about this and, and what this worship series was, was about and what does it mean to be a hero, two things just kind of jumped to mind for me. One is as we uh, we are just past uh, our 22nd anniversary of 9-11 and remembering all of those heroes who helped our country deal with that tragedy who helped with uh, rescue efforts and recovery efforts and who who sacrificed in order that uh, our country could heal and could begin uh, moving on and process what that tragedy meant for us. And then I think about all of the heroes that we celebrated during the pandemic. And we were realizing the heroes who are or on the front lines that people we don't normally think of as heroes, but who really, really sacrificed during that time to make sure that we still had food in the grocery grocery stores or, and uh, we had gas uh, at our uh, gas stations and, and different things like that. We realized who some of those unsung heroes are. So I, I invite you to think about uh, your life and to think about who who has been a hero for you during these next three weeks. We're going to be talking about heroes from Scripture, but during that time, I also uh, encourage you to think about some people who are heroes in your life and maybe finding a way to acknowledge them, to thank them, or to encourage them to continue to be heroes for other people. I, I lift this up and want to just lift up a few uh, announcements or things to draw your attention to. One is this Saturday is the last annual conference that we will be having that will be addressing the churches that are desiring to disaffiliate in the Virginia Annual Conference. So I ask uh, prayers for this gathering that's going to be gathering by Zoom on Saturday for all of the churches that are seeking to uh, go a different path and not stay with the United Methodist denomination, uh, that they uh, can feel good about this choice and feel that God is leading them and is with them in this. But that also that God will be with the United Methodist Church and will help us to figure out what the next faithful steps are as we continue on this journey and how we can continue to be uh, the people that God is calling us to be. We are beginning to take orders for our Brunswick stew. I encourage you to, if you are interested in that, to pick up an order form uh, at the church office. There's also some right outside the sanctuary on Sundays. You can pick up and, and place your own order or take them and hand them out to your friends and neighbors and see if anyone else might be interested in ordering some of our delicious Brunswick stew. On October 15th, that's not this Sunday, but next Sunday, we will be celebrating Laity Sunday. And that's the Sunday where we really will be celebrating uh, the work of the people and all of the many, many different ways that people serve and participate in the ministries of Main Street. So I encourage you to come and be a part of that celebration. Friends, I hope you have a, a great rest of the week. Oh, before I forget, I also want to say just thank you. Thank you to all of the Main Street people who came to participate last night in uh, the Washington Street Baptist uh, Revival Service. Uh, I was blessed and honored to be able to preach at that service. And we had wonderful music provided by our chancel choir and by our uh, just amazing uh, music director, Johnson Scott, did a wonderful job and uh uh, Reverend Henderson there was trying to get them to, to stay over at Washington Street on Sundays and offer some more music for them. 
uh, because it was just a wonderful job. Uh, we had a great time. Uh, it was a wonderful experience. And uh, those of us who were there, we left saying, okay, what can we do now to invite them to something that we're doing? How can we uh, extend an invitation to them after they graciously extended this invitation to us? So we are in the process of thinking about that and, and figuring out what we can do to extend Band our, our relationship with them. It was a wonderful evening of, of praising God and hopefully a, a revival that can begin happening in, in the town of Bedford and between um, our two churches. So uh, thank you to everyone who came and participated and those who didn't just be aware that we are going to be trying to uh, expand our relationship with them. And I look forward to what, what that might look like. Friends, have a great rest of the week. I look forward to worshiping with you in person on Sundays at 1030 or worshiping with you online. God bless.